thanks Lali and thanks Dan for the invitation uh, and thanks Arukwaut for inviting SNC for this wonderful event. Um, SNC is a non-for-profit, non-for-revenue organization. We are existing for the last six years and what we are doing is that we are connection, connecting Israeli innovation with global challenges. We are doing so with several buckets of activities. Um, um, several buckets of activities um, and we're inviting many multinationals to come over for a curated visit of um, one to four days while we're exposing them to several uh, companies, challenges, and also potential partners. What I'm going to share with you in the next five minutes is a very interesting report which we have conducted recently together with uh, PwC Israel, where we took about 100 multinationals who are existing and active in Israel, and we tried to map them by their needs, their challenges, and why, and try, we try to understand actually why they are here, um, and how they, they see Israel as the next growth engine of the company. Um, what we found out very quickly is that those 500 multinationals who are active here in Israel are being divided to three main buckets of activities, R&D, investments, and strategic partnerships. Of course, there are several overlapping uh, between uh, one entity to another, but the interesting part that we uh, understood is that the majority of them are coming to Israel in order to secure their future, meaning 62% of them are seeing their presence in Israel ahead of their competitors, and this is a strong signal uh, which shows us that they are here in order to search for the next growth engine of their technology. Another interesting fact that, we, fact that we've uh, um, realized is that um, open innovation um, is a big shift today in the Israeli ecosystem. We see more and more entities and multinationals going toward this direction uh, from the pure and traditional R&D structure that we used to know, also from the investment point of view toward an open innovation um, direction. And if we're taking the fintech sector as example, from 2017 up until today, there is only one entity who established an R&D center on the heavy mode as we all familiar with. And there were another 20 multinationals and plus who choose the open innovation strategy um, as the strategy in the Israeli ecosystem. Another interesting fact is that the majority of them are focusing toward POCs and, and pilot processes with Israeli startups as their first um, usual suspect when they are walking here. And this is a very important uh, message. Israeli startups need room to grow. They need places to do valuation. They need multinationals to take uh, them to the production floor and execute pilots, actually. Um, and this is what we understood from our um, interview uh, and from our process in the report. And this is actually a good sign for many multinationals that would like to come. Um, that's it. Uh, it was a very short and quick. Um, and uh, welcome to Israel for all of you. Thank you.